WIP Sports with Taylor Langston. Red Raider basketball team will take the floor tonight at United Supermarkets Arena for the first of two exhibition contests against Concordia. Tip-off is slated for just less than an hour at 7 o'clock. Tech is returning quite a few key players this season. 71% of last year's starting roster is back. They also bring back 75% of points from last year, 75% of rebounds, and 88% of blocks. So needless to say, this is a much more experienced squad than the team they had just a year ago. I just think the experience factor is probably the biggest difference. By that I mean, I, mean, I, I like their serious mindedness, their focus, and to be as young as we still are, that, that's a real, that's something you, you don't find often, so I'm really happy with that fact. Now, if that's the difference between last year's team and this year's team, I don't necessarily think, I just think we're more talented. Remember, tip off is at 7 o'clock. Still staying on the hardwood, the Lady Shaps are facing their toughest opponent of the season before the real games even get underway. This is the second exhibition game tonight. They're facing off against the Yukon Huskies. It's a game that they've had marked down for quite some time on the calendar. The day is finally here. We talked to head coach Steve Gomez last week, and he said that for the past couple of weeks, the team has been practicing against boys to get them ready for the athleticism and the size of the Yukon players. Now, this is the first time in LCU history that the Lady Shaps have been slated to take on UConn. Highlights from that historic matchup coming up tonight at 10. And while one season begins, yet another comes to an end. The LCU men's soccer team must win their final game tonight on the road against West Texas A&M if they plan to finish with a winning record. Their loss at, against St. Edwards last week and would seal their fate, eliminating them from postseason play. That game underway tonight at 7. In Tech soccer, a huge congratulations is in order for senior forward Janine Becky. This afternoon, she became the first Red Raider in program history to be named the Big 12 Offensive Player of the Year in back-to-back -back seasons. Wow. She led the league in shots, points, and goals for 2015, not to mention representing the Red Raiders on the first team all-conference and being named an all-Big 12 honoree. Congratulations to her. In the second time this season, senior wide receiver Jakeem Grant was named Named special teams player of the week. This of course comes after that 100 yard kickoff return for a touchdown that set a school record for the most by any player in program history. Sticking with tech football, uh, the Red Raiders are trying to bounce back after an upsetting 70 to 53 loss to Oklahoma State on Saturday. That was a horror show on Halloween night for the Red Raider defense. They gave up a whopping 42 points in the second half alone to the dynamic Cowboys offense. They also gave up a total of 662 yards on the day. And if the Red Raiders want to go bowling at all this season, Coach Gibbs and the defense will have to turn things around and fast because the road certainly doesn't get any easier for this point for the Red Raider defense. Obviously with all those big plays at the end of it, which is embarrassing, um, it's not acceptable. Um, and it comes back to me. I mean, Coach Kingsbury gives me free reign of the defense, and I can call whatever I want and run whatever I want, and, and therefore the product out there on the field is a direct reflection of me, which is not acceptable. And today the Big 12 announced a 2.30 kickoff time for Tech's final home game of the season against Kansas State. That's next weekend. The Red Raiders, on the other hand, will go and they will go the entire season without a night game at home this year. This weekend, though, they will prepare for an 11 o'clock kickoff in Manhattan. It's the team prepares to take on West Virginia. Well, that'll do it for sports. Stay with us. We'll be right back.